Boy, Liverpool free, United nil, or should I say United nil, Liverpool free. Man got touched at home, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's it's crazy right now. It's crazy right now because you see you dickheads, bro. You absolute dickheads. We got new owners. These men literally, yeah, brought in new players. We could have had a complete revamp of the team. And guess what happened? You absolute bozos decided. You wanted to write a letter to Ineos and beg them to keep this bald fraud. This is on you, man. You see all you top reds, you supposed Man United fans that pretend to care about the club, but really, you're just emotional fucking idiots, bro. This is for you, man. This is for you, man. This is why we lost today. Do you know what I'm saying? Loads of people are going to go out and they're going to scapegoat players. And to be honest, yeah, there was very few players that had a good game today. But you men are going to scapegoat players are literally missing the one thing that's sitting right in front of you and it's that bald fucking swagless fraud blood. This angry egg blood. Man's going to see loads of Casemiro scapegoating. Oh, Casemiro gave the ball away. This, that and the other. Who didn't give the fucking ball away? Who didn't, bro? Who fucking didn't, bro? The system is the reason why we lost the game today. The system is the reason why we never had control of the game today. We had a whole window. We signed five players. Three of them were defenders. Never signed a ball playing midfielder. Emmanuel Ugarte is not the answer, bro. Kobe Mino is not a centre mid box to box player. You play Kobe Mino next to Ugarte, the same thing's going to happen. i got news for you lot. I've been telling you Kobe Mino is not a box-to-box. -box. He ain't got the engine for that. And also, he doesn't read the game like that. Kobe Mino is an on-the-ball player. Casemiro had no fucking help today. For the guys that don't understand football, it's very, very easy to look at Casemiro and say, yo, he was directly involved in both goals that we conceded, so it's his fault. But he had no fucking support in midfield today. Bruno doesn't help. But again, that's you man's captain that you man suck off every week and he just got 300 grand because of you pricks. That absolute scrub Bruno just leaves the midfield. We had an instance in the second half, yeah, where Kobe Mino's picking up the ball as a DM, yeah, and he's playing a through ball to Bruno Fernandes who's in the centre forward position. No help. What the hell is he supposed to do? What the hell is Cass supposed to do as a lone six? We know he can't play lone six. We know he can't. And Kobe Mino doesn't help him in there either because Kobe's not a fucking defensive midfielder. He doesn't read the danger. And when we're trying to play this man-for-man -man press, we get caught. And that's exactly what happened. The third goal, Kobe got caught. So I guess Kobe's legs have gone now. Because when it was Casemiro, his legs are gone. But then we literally can see the goal in almost the same fucking position. Kobe gets the ball, no passing options, loses it. Almost identical to Cass's one in the second one when he, when he gets fouled. That's a fucking foul. But either way, he got caught on the ball, no passing options. Same thing happened. No matter who plays in this lone six at Man United, they're going to get caught on the ball. The same thing happened last season. Amrabat played in there, got caught. Kobe played in there, got caught. Cass played in there and got caught. We don't have a system to beat aggressive presses, bro. We can't play out. We can't play out the press. This is a coaching problem. This is a system problem. Nothing from Bruno today. Nothing from Rashford and Garnacho today, but no one's going to talk about that. I'm seeing bad chat about Xerxes. I was happy enough that Xerxes was trying to get on the ball, try and make things happen, try and get on the end of things. He offered way more than what fucking Hoyland offered. But again, everyone's going to say, oh yeah, but he should have done this, he should have done that. You man are pricks, bro. This is why you don't deserve good players. I'm glad Sancho's gone. He's laughing right now. United are the fucking problem. United stink, bruv. United are like the fucking toilet. When you're sitting there, you're having a shit, blood. If you sit on the toilet long enough, you can't even smell the shit no more, blood. You're just sitting in the room, blood. It smells like fresh air, bro. Till someone else walks in the room, blood. And that's exactly what United are, bro. They're shit. But they can't smell it, bro. But everyone else that comes around Man United can smell the shit, bruv. That's what they are. Man want to blame the players? This is on the fucking manager. 
Because as much as Bruno's a liability, yeah, Bruno's been a liability for four years. I've known he's a liability. It's for the manager to look at Bruno, know what Bruno is, and make a fucking decision. You either don't play him or you don't play him with certain players. If you've got fucking Casemiro, you play him next to a Fred or someone like that that can do his running for him. Or you play him with a first phase player. When he was at Real Madrid, Tony Kroos or Luka Modric always played in the first first phase. They bypassed Cass. Cass never played in the first phase. Why have we got Casemiro picking up the ball off centre backs and then we're, we're getting surprised when he's losing it? Why are we surprised? Why have we got Kobe picking up the ball off centre backs and then getting surprised when he gets caught on the ball? That's not his fucking job. We had a whole window to buy someone like that. Sander Berg was meant to be that player. Why didn't we buy him? Everyone thinks Ugarte is going to be the saviour. I can't wait to see how that pans out. It's not going to work. The Sandro Martinez, yeah, next to De Ligt. De Ligt looked like a proper centre-back today. Lissandro, shaky. I've been saying it. We need to keep an eye on Lissandro. Because for what he doesn't give us with athleticism and height, yeah, he's overrated on the ball. Overrated on the ball, but they love him because... Well, when shit goes sideways, he kicks someone and gets a yellow card. This is what you man like. You man don't like football. You just like passion merchants that run around kicking people. That's why you're in love with the idea of fucking Bruno. Bruno's shit. That's why it's very, very hard for me right now to sit here and blame individual players. Because this game was because of the manager. This bald fraud that you man wanted here. Eighth in the league, minus goal difference. And you pricks thought it was a good idea, yeah? To be writing letters to the club saying that he should say, he should stay. We got beaten by a Liverpool team that didn't need to get out of first gear today. They didn't even need to. We gave them everything they had. They just sat there. They were patient, kept the ball ticking over. And then they just struck when they needed to strike. And then before you know it, man, are getting O laid off the fucking pitch, bro. At Old Trafford. The manager thought taking off Casemiro for Collier was going to make us better. We lost complete control of the midfield in the second half and we were getting... They were taking a piss out of us. The only reason why they didn't score more goals is because they were having fun. Diaz had a chance. He was through and instead of shooting, man's trying to cut back and try and embarrass people. Same thing with fucking Soboslai as well. Had a chance, decided to take three touches because he weren't rating us, bro. That could have been a 5-6-0 game in the second half. It could have been if Liverpool weren't fucking bored. The manager is the fucking problem, bro. And you dickheads want to hound out every half-decent player that we have at the club, yeah? You man want fucking 12 McTominays, bro. Guess what? That ain't winning shit. Ahmad came off the bench and he looked lively, but guess what? Player of the month? Benched. Because the manager likes runners. He don't like footballers, bro. Strap your fucking selves in. This is going to be a horrible season until this guy's gone. As it stands, yeah? United are going to struggle to finish in the top six with this manager. And this is on you, man. I don't care. You know who you are. If you're one of these fans here that wanted Ten Hag to stay, bro, this is on your head. This is on your head. You can scapegoat every single individual player. There's no individual player today that's responsible for the result. This is firmly on the manager's head. Because, bro, there's way too many players that gave the ball away. We can scapegoat Casemiro. Yeah, he lost the ball. He lost the ball for two of the goals. Who didn't lose the ball in dangerous areas and cost us chances today? Oh, wait. Because Rashford did. Garnacho did. Bruno definitely did. Kobe did. Collier did. Lissandro did. Bro, it's easier to find players that didn't than did. So let's see what happens next game, bro. Because the manager is very, very good at blaming other people, gaslighting people, throwing players under the bus. He threw Cass under the bus today, took him off at half-time. It made no difference. We were worse without him on the pitch. Who's going to be the scapegoat now? He's going to bring Ugarte in and guess what? It's not going to work, guys. Just a heads up. Ugarte, Kobe Mino, not going to work. With Bruno in front, absolutely not going to work. And the only reason why we saw Xerxes today was because fucking Mount was injured. Or else it would have been Mount, Bruno, um, Garnacho, and fucking Rashford. That's the manager that you man wanted to stay. He was going to play that front four. 
That's what he was going to do. Sit back, try and stink the game out and then counter-attack. That's what he was going to try and do. And he got forced to play Xerxes because Mount got injured. He got found out. This guy's a fucking fraud. He's got no style of play. Third season, no style of play. Can't coach possession football. Can't coach counter-attacking football. He can't co coach his way out of fucking Sainsbury's car park. He's a bald fraud, bro. He can't speak. He can't dress. He's a disgrace, bro. And he's a reflection of this fan base, bro. They're pathetic. Just like the manager. That's exactly why he's still here. If you man had anything about you, he would be gone. He would fucking be gone. I've had to sit here, yeah, and watch Chelsea sign Jao Felix, yeah, Pedro Neto and Jadon Sancho. That tells you the kind of football that their manager's trying to play. Their manager's come out and said about Mudrik and Sterling, they're not my kind of wingers. And we've got this flipping manager trying to hold on to Scott McTominay. Yeah? Long season for you, man. And you, man, deserve it, bro. You, man, fucking deserve it, bro. I feel sick after watching that. I feel sick. And this is going to be the first of many of these embarrassing times, yeah? Until they get rid of this manager. The only good thing is, we've seen the profit and loss. And there's enough, manager to set, there's enough money to set this fraud, bro. Let's hope that Rude can come in and do a better job. Because there's no way he survives the season. And this don't look like a manager whose who's players are playing for him. These men were losing their heads out there. I lost count how many times men were getting booked. That game was an absolute fucking disgrace, bruv. Absolute disgrace. And you know what? It needed to happen. It needed to happen. Because you know what? If we papered over the cracks of this rubbish manager... And we got a little draw here, or we scumbag the win, bro. This is how we got in this. This, this is how we got in this situation. Because for the last two seasons, we've been absolutely awful. We got one VAR decision away against Coventry yeah, from going out. The fine margins. All of a sudden, we win a trophy, and he's got a reason to gaslight us to stay. This brother came out with a quote saying, "Oh, we're the most successful team other than Man City." The most successful team other than Man City in the last two years. He said it with a straight face. I had to quote tweet, quote tweet that and say, yo, this brother's got dementia. This guy's really gaslighting us. Season before we were shit. Even the final against Newcastle, we were rubbish. And somehow we scumbagged it. This guy needs to go now. And if things need to get real ugly, yeah, before they get better, then so be it. Strap yourselves in, bro. I'll literally take a 3-0 for the next five games if it means this guy's out of here. Because it's all about the bigger picture. We cannot progress as a football club with this guy here. I don't care, bro. I'm not asking no one. I'm telling you. This is the third season and we still can't see what kind of football this guy's trying to play. Third season, he signed like 15, 16 players and we're still blaming individuals. Anyone that's still here right now is because he wanted them here. I ain't trying to hear that shit. We're still blaming players. Three years into his reign. This is Arnie Slot's first season. Barely a pre-season because we had an international tournament. Joke thing. Lost to Brighton. Their manager's first, first season. 31 years old. Bag of new players because Brighton always turned their players over. This brother's lost to two new managers in his first three games. A man want to blame players. Loads of players didn't play well today. If you want to scapegoat Casemiro, then you can scapegoat Kobe as well. Scapegoat Bruno. Scapegoat um, Lissandro. If I ain't said that, Garnacho, Rashford. Everyone. Everyone. But when you've got eight or nine players that ain't playing well, the buck falls with that bald fraud blood. So get this tramp out of my football club.